Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you guys with a beautylish.com haul. I treated myself to an early Christmas gift. So this video should be short and sweet because it's not like I bought the whole place. I wish. But I did buy some amazing, amazing products that I'm confident in. And some I have used and some I have not touched yet because I have this thing where, you know, I just won't touch it yet. I do want to thank Anna, who was the one that signed off the box, my Beautylish box, and made sure everything was okay and sent out. It was wrapped beautifully. I love Beautylish. I recommend checking them out for your makeup needs. <laughs> so recently, Beautylish had sent me a sample of a product that they were getting in, and it is the By Terry Balm the Rose, and I've used this a few times. This is a very small sample. This was sent to me complimentary, and I'm so appreciative of it. I have used this quite a few times and I have barely made a dent on it their products are extremely pricey so I don't know what the rest of their products are like their foundations I don't know how they are I haven't really heard of this brand of course Beautylish loves to have brands from all over the world in their stores which I think is amazing because that's how I can get my hands on certain things and I'm super super excited because I absolutely love this product and I hope it lasts me a while because I don't think I could dish that much for it. <laughs> so I got a few gift cards from them for $20 a piece so I get to shop a little bit more on their website. I'll probably pick up, I don't know what I'll pick up yet. I don't know just yet. So the first thing I got was an Inglot eyeliner and this is in the number 77. I have seen so many people rant about this eyeliner and I haven't used it yet. I just still can't put down my, see it's, it's not even open. And it comes in a plastic little thing I mean the packaging feels flimsy like it might you know get air in it so I might just want to keep the box for it so I got the black one which is number 77 and I'll probably use it in my next video um I know I did a recent video on my foundation routine for this look right here so I'll probably use it on my next look so I really want to see how this works out. Next product I picked up was the Kevin Aquan the Sensual Skin Fluid Foundation. This is in the shade SF06. I think it is a perfect match for my skin. It looks really really light when I apply it but it just kind of melts into my skin after a while and it just looks really really good. Like right now I have it on of course I bronzed and I feel like it just goes. Yeah, my neck is a little darker at times um, with certain angles, but I feel like it just, it matches my skin nicely. And this is the bottle. It is a glass bottle. It is 0.68 fluid ounces, which I find so annoying. Like, just put an ounce in here. Put 30 mLs in the sucker. Like, don't put 20 mLs. It's annoying as hell when companies do that. Um, I hope they make it larger, but... A little goes a long way with this. This is a very liquidy foundation. It comes with a pump here and I will open it up for you guys. And here's the dropper. It is amazing. As you can see there, I'm dropping it, dropping it and pushing the button. And this smells amazing. It smells very luxe. It just has a, I don't know, florally, perfumey kind of scent. It's not too much for me, but if you're sensitive to scents, this might be something that might annoy you. But of course, once you put it onto the skin, you don't smell it anymore. The next product I picked up was because I was looking for primer-like products and I was definitely looking for high-end because I was trying to treat myself, okay? So I ended up giving in and getting the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Primer. It's an instant focus beauty flash and it is meant to give you some illumination and kind of use as a primer. At least that's what she uses it for. So you get 40 mLs on this. You get 1.4 fluid ounces in this product and I literally I'm gonna even swatch it for you guys I'm feeling generous this is how much I use for my entire face that and it does it has a florally scent it gives me that wondrous golden glow I did not put it on my skin today that was stupid I kind of wish I did but it just gives me like this glow and it's not glittery or anything like that not from what I've seen when I've applied it it has a, a rose scent. This definitely has a rose scent. So if you're not into rose scents, you're not going to like this. So the next item I got was a Too Faced Melted Lipstick. Now you guys, if you guys watch my hauls, I picked one up at Sephora and it is in Fig. That is a gorgeous color. If you're going to pick up like maybe a darker color, pick up Fig if you like purples. 
That is one amazing freaking color. So anyway, I gave in and I picked up the color nude. So this is the color right here. It is more of a peachy tone nude. It is gorgeous, <sighs> pigmented, pigmented, pigmented. So if you're looking to try these melted lipsticks, speaking to a girl that prefers her mattes over anything but loves pigmentation, these are super comfortable on the lips. They wear off beautifully. I just don't even know. I just... I might pick up a couple more of these. The last two items I got, I don't regret buying. I just, I'm not gonna use them just yet because I don't want to. So as you guys know, I went to IMATS and I picked up a beautiful Wayne Goss 04 brush, which I use on that crease, hunty, to get that nice sharp crease. And it is a gorgeous brush. It is amazing. Like this is ridiculously soft. And it, it cleans so easily. So anyway, I went ahead and I picked up another 04 brush. Brush was worth getting a second one of. It is super soft. This one is brand new, of course. Yeah, they did change the packaging a little bit on the handle. This is my used one, and this is the brand new one. Gorgeous, gorgeous brushes. Next item I picked up was another one of Wayne Goss's brushes, and it is the 02 brush. And oh my god, like when I took this out of the packaging, I wasn't wearing any makeup, my face was clean, and I just like touched my face to it. Like I, you know, touched, <laughs> I'm not being weird, but this was like, it, it's just so soft that you would slap your mama. I mean, anyway, um, it is super, super, super soft. It is ridiculous, ridiculous. Wayne Goss. I, I just adore you so much. I watch you all the time, and I know you will never watch this video, but damn, you made a good-ass brush. You made some amazing brushes, and if I go back to IMATS next year, I probably will just end up picking up the whole collection, um, and that's probably all I'll go there for in, in hopes to maybe meet you. Maybe. But, oh my god, this is just... Listen, if you ever want to treat yourself to a amazing, succulent, soft brush that's handmade and cruelty-free, 100% cruelty-free, yeah, Wayne Goss, he's the man. I'm a few slices of cheese off my cracker, so whatever. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you guys like this video. Please thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.